I just woke up. The, the smoke in, in the... under the... I, I think... All right, just slow down. Now, take it easy. Tell me what's going on. There's a fire. What's your address? It's 1231 56th Street. Wait a minute. Rescue Heroes, this is Roger Houston. Roger, what's wrong? Just picked up a 911 regarding a residential fire in the Detroit area. I know this isn't your standard Rescue Heroes call, but it's the Seville's. Nick and Eddie? I'm afraid so, Jake. I thought you should know. Who are Nick and Eddie? Jake's kids from the Big Brother program. Don't worry, Jake. All right, team, we're on our way. Let's move! Rescue heroes! Rescue heroes! and set up a triage station for injuries. Roger that. This one's pretty intense, Jake. Be careful in there. Copy that. Red Hulk is five and six. Come on, guys, let's go. Is everything okay? Just a mild case of smoke inhalation. Hey, the football you got me. Happened to come across it on my way out. I'm proud of you two. You did a good thing calling 911 and getting help here. Looks like we found the culprit. you. I saw you with the fireworks. My mom almost didn't make it out. I'm sorry. It was an accident, I swear. I was just playing around. I didn't mean for anything to happen. I'm so sorry. Sorry? That's supposed to make it okay? Nick! It was Tommy's fault, Jake. I saw him tossing those bottle rockets earlier. He set the house on fire. 
I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Tommy, you should have known how dangerous it is to play with fireworks. Someone could have been seriously hurt tonight. It's very important that you realize that. I do. I swear I do. I'm so sorry. I'll never, ever do it again. You're gonna have to talk to the fire marshal. This is serious. Nick, the fire was a horrible thing, but it was an accident. What's important now is that everyone's safe. When someone is genuinely sorry, try to be open to forgiving them. I can't do that, Jake. Never. I know you won't do that again, son. They'll need a place to stay while their home's being repaired. Unfortunately, they don't have any family in the area. Jake, how would you feel if they stayed at Command Center until they can make other arrangements? Thanks, Chief. How would you guys like to stay with us? Yeah! Thank you! Hey, you two. I thought we were going to play some touch football after breakfast. We were just looking around. We're rescue heroes! Well, you were the other night, but this stuff is off-limits. What about in the QRV? Off-limits. All-terrain vehicle? Off-limits. The... Off-limits. These things aren't toys, okay? Okay. Okay. I have to go. Will you be all right till I get back? Sure thing. Yeah. Go. Where? To have some fun. Awesome. Jake said not to play with this stuff. Who's playing? I'm just looking. And besides, Jake said not to play with the QRV or the all-terrain vehicle. This is the Hyperjet. Give it to us, Roger. A volcano in the Philippines, which has been dormant for over a century, is about to erupt. The island must be evacuated immediately. We're on our way, Roger. Aside from the general evacuation and troubleshoot vision, we have two photographers stranded on the volcano. Cliff and I can take care of them. than one remaining town on the outskirts. Nearly everyone has been cleared off the island. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. Where are we? I don't know. Let's take a look around. Volcanoes throwing everything off. There's no way I'm gonna get an accurate reading. Then we'll do it the old-fashioned way and eyeball it. After we get these people on the ferry, we'll have everyone. That's what I like to hear. Everyone take cover. Back inside the buses. Did you just see that? We gotta get closer. You sure Jake won't get mad? I mean, he doesn't even know we're here. 
Don't worry, everything's cool. Back to the hyperjet. Don't worry. Uh, too heavy. I can't do it. Huh. What now, Nick? I'll go get help. No, you can't leave me here alone. Okay, don't worry. I won't go anywhere. I really messed up. Maybe Jake will come again. He doesn't even know we're here. Why don't we call for help then? Like I did when the house was on fire. Think, Eddie, we don't have a phone. Well, there's gotta be some way to let people know we're in trouble. Those photographers have gotta be around here somewhere. Look, footprints. Looks like we're on the right track. has been destroyed. We'll have to think of another way to evacuate these people. Switch to Omega 411. Air rescue? The hyperjet's the only way to get these people to safety now. I'm already there, Chief. Nick and possibly Eddie stowed aboard the hyperjet. And if they did, they're gone. According to the data pack, that last eruption was just the beginning. Time is of the essence, Jake. See if the kids are out there. Ariel will retrieve the hyperjet. Copy that. Over and out. Rocky, do you see that? of anything means someone's in trouble. Hang tight. I'll take a closer look. Rescue heroes. Are we sure everyone's accounted for? We just came across an SOS. Three stacks of rocks. That's Nick and Eddie. I know it. I told them if they were ever stranded or lost that three of anything is a distress signal. It's a good thing you did. I've got a reading. I'm almost on top of them. In that case, I'm heading back. Get off this rock pronto, Jake. The volcano's primed to blow any second now. Moving as fast as I can, believe me. Eddie! Nick! Jake! Down here! Are you two all right? My leg really hurts, Jake. He can't walk, so we've been stuck here. All right, don't panic. I'll be right down there to get you. I knew you'd rescue us, Jake.
Hang on, and don't let go no matter what. Not a problem. Yes, sir. Get airborne. One at a time. We'll keep going as far as we can away from the flow. We're never gonna make it, are we? Rescue heroes never say never. I'll be back before anything can happen. It'll be okay. What's your status? Almost there, Chief. Cliff? Don't worry, Wendy. Everything's under control. Ariel, things are heating up around here. I need some serious assistance. Over. Switch to Alpha Mega 411. Hurry! Copy that. We're going back for Rocky. Good work, team. Now let's get these people to safety. Do you realize how much trouble you caused, Nick? Not only did you put yourself and Eddie in danger, but you took me away from helping others. I wasn't thinking. I didn't mean to do anything wrong, Jake. I'm sorry. Well, sorry doesn't cut it. Here I am telling you to forgive Tommy for his mistake, and, well, I forgive you, Nick. You do? Of course. I know you didn't mean to put anyone at risk. Never. All I can hope is that this will give you something to consider. Like thinking before you act, and about forgiving others. You mean Tommy. I'm still kind of mad at him, but I know he didn't mean to start the fire. I guess I should tell him that. I think that's a good start.
In an emergency, always remember to call 911 for help. And know your address. That information can help the emergency workers arrive faster. And please understand that fireworks are not toys. Never, ever play around with them. Think like a rescue hero. Think safe.